Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Mayur Jadhav. Guys, today I'm going to talk about certain effects which I have seen quite a times on TikTok and other social media platforms. Guys, the effects I'm talking about are the throbbing effects like this one, like uh, earthquake effect and uh, there's the glitch effect and and there's the third one. I don't know exactly what it's called. So guys, these are the little things which add so much to your videos, especially when it's used on bits of your videos it really helps to make your video stand out here we are in premiere pro guys i have here some clips for example first of all guys adjust the playhead where you want to start the effect press c to select cutting tool make a cut and go to 7 8 frames ahead and make another cut then press v and simply press and hold alt and drag this cut portion above the bottom clip then go to the effects control tab and set the opacity to 50 percent then select the bottom clip and right click and hit nest activate the keyframes for the position and scale by clicking the by clicking on these stopwatches set the scale to 105 and move the play ahead slightly ahead adjust the slide and position to slightly left again move the play ahead slightly ahead and then do the opposite this time to the right then move the play ahead to the last and reset the position Then moving on to next clip, for a glitch effect this time, same as we did before, make cuts of 7 to 8 frames and drag and move the clip above bottom and do it twice. Select the upper clip and go to effects and search for RGB color. Simply drag this effect onto each of the clip. Select top clip, go to the effect control and set the red value to the 100 and other two to zero do the same for the middle clip but this time set the green to 100 and other two to zero and for the bottom clip set the blue to 100 and for other two set it zero then for all clips select the blend mode to screen then go to the middle clip and set the scale to 105 And for the bottom clip, set the scale to 115. Then select all the clips and nest them all together. Then select the nested sequence, go to the effect control and adjust the position like we did earlier. And we have our glitch effect ready guys heading on to next clip guys do the same for this effect select the upper clip and set opacity to 50% then select the bottom clip and nest it by right clicking then go to effects tab and search for the transform effect drag and drop this effect onto bottom clip then set a keyframe at the start and adjust the playhead and set the scale like this and then down here check the composition shutter angle and set it for 180 And it's done guys.
so that's it for today's guys hope you enjoy this tutorial and for more tutorials like that and videos and vlogs and all the camera stuff do subscribe to my channel and we will meet in the next video